Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, last night I got here, and myself and Sean Cox and John Lamb and a guy named Matt we came over and we dissected and we dissected all these documents as new evidence for the past five hours last night, and to uh, basically tie in the connection of all the corruption and all the names that I'm gonna that I am going to connect on why they went after the Bundys and why they assassinated LaVoy and why they went after the Hammonds. These documents I did not write, alter any of these documents. These documents were, uh, came, uh, came out of the internet. All you gotta do is put the names and, put, and connect all the names uh, through all the types of bills they passed, legislative, uh, congressional bills, and Senate bills that pertain to the, uh, to the theft of your minerals, uh, your lands, and your water. And again, they patent the water, and that's why water is considered a mineral. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start from my left, and I'm going to work around to my right, and then come right back up. And you can understand why we have to understand the word sovereignty versus sovereignty and citizen and citizen. We cannot annotate between so uh, sovereign and citizen. You're either sovereign or you're a citizen, not both. And that's a misconception of what the, what the American people have been dumbed down by the American Bar Association and go into the Black Law Dictionary and look up the definition of sovereignty. It's not, it's never say in a Black Law Dictionary, it's sovereignty citizen, it's a sovereignty. So I beg every American person to go ahead and take it out. Also, I want to send and extend um, and say hello to our beloved military because these documents also affect you. To our veterans, this also affects you. To, uh, to uh, obviously the Bundys, the Hammonds, and all of us throughout the United States, it affects you. And, and more specifically, the 12 Western states. This is why we're here. This is why the Bundys are incarcerated. This is why they assassinated Lavoy. This is why they stole the land from, uh, from the Hammonds. And we gotta also understand the connection with Uranium One, Hillary Clinton, Harry Reid, Jeff Merkley, Ron Wyden, Ted Ferrioli, Greg Walden, Gordon Smith, uh, uh, Jeremy Comey from the FBI, and Loretta Lynch, and, and Cliff Bentz, Boyd Britton, Andy Bentz, Linda Bentz, Stephen E. Grasty, Dan Nichols, Don, uh, um, uh, Peter, uh, uh, Peter, uh, Peter uh, Russell. Uh, so these are all the names that are gonna be coming out. These are the names that are gonna be connected to all these bills. And this is why these criminals need to be prosecuted by a common law grand jury, at a minimum by the, by the attorney general himself. Because these documents do not lie, and these documents, what I'm going to say, is for them, for the, for the American people to decide what is true. And are we going to hold these criminals and indict these criminals from Salem all the way to Washington, D.C., including Uranium One and John Podesta. That's his name's on it. And this will be elaborated with Senator Chuck Grassley's two, e two, two, email, uh, two letters to... Uh, with, to Loretta Lynch with respect to Uranium One, Russia, China, ISIS, and Iran. So let me start over. Let and start I'm here to say that these are authentic um, documents and they have not been altered. These are uh, uh, authentication of things, of documents that we've found. So I'm gonna start with the basic. These, how are these all, all these co-conspirators affiliated? I want everybody, if possible, to go ahead and look up the Oregon benchmark. And there's one dated spring of 2014. There's also one for the fall of 2011. And there's also another one for 2015. And in conjunction, if you go to OWLS, which is called the Oregon Women uh, uh, lawyers. lawyers, on the advance sheets, you will see how they're all affiliated to this. And this is a 5013C. Uh, corporation, including the lawyers for equal justice. On these documents, they're also part of this. And we also have to understand the common denominator between all these individuals, the Lewis and Clark Show, and how they are practicing under admiralty law. But not just admiralty law, but their specialty is in, is in environmental and natural resource. What's natural resource and what's environmental? And you guys are going to decide the truth. I will, because at the end of the day, it affects all the ranchers and all of us that pay taxes. So here we go. So these guys are all, all participated from Lewis, Lewis and Clark, Lewis and Clark. Now, we're going to see show documents on how these guys participated in the land grabbing. 
So we got this right here, and I'm going to put this right here. You're going to see a case number, and what you guys can see is going to be it's going to be Robert Charles Curtis versus the state of Oregon and the United States of America. And the same co the co-conspirators that are behind the behind the Bundy's case are also Ellen F. Rosenblum, which donated to Kate Brown, and we got Anna J. Brown in this case with respect to land. This gentleman's in jail and he lost his land, all on the expense of Anna J. Brown. This is one of many cases that I'm going to show you where Anna J. Brown has her hand in the cooking jar and why she has her hand in this cooking jar. We're going to go ahead and we're going to come up with Callum. What does Callum, what does Callum mean? Callum means basically your financial disclosure forms, which this is one of, just one page of mostly probably about 50 pages of Anna J. Brown financial disclosure forms, where she has hedge funds. And these hedge funds consist of minerals. I didn't say it, I didn't write it, this is what these documents state. So, we got, I'm going to bring you right here, which is called the Oregon Investment, the Oregon Investment Council. What's, what happened with the Oregon Investment Council? Under this council, under, the, un, uh, uh, under this committee, they went ahead and they created hedge funds. All these hedge funds that you see right here in this document right here under Calum are all highlighted in which Ron Wyden, Jeff Merkley, Greg Walden, Gordon Smith, Anna J. Brown, Anna Akins, Kate Brown have investments in. I did. All you gotta do is go to their financial disclosures and go one by one and you would see how they're affiliated between Callan. And Callan falls under the Oregon Investment Council. And all the Oregon Investment Councils are all about hedge funds. And guess who runs a hedge fund? Adam White. Ron Wyden's son right here, his hedge funds right here, which was filed on 516 of, of 2016. This hedge fund is actually under Callan. D.E. Shaw Investment Organization, in which, in which Adam Wyden got an internship, an inter internship to work for uh, D.E. Shaw Investments. So why do you think Ron Wyden is trying to prevent our, uh, Ron Wyden, Kate Brown, Jeff Merkley, Greg Walden, are preventing an Anna, uh, uh, Kate Brown, Anna J. Brown, and Anna Akins from having our patriots uh, have a fair trial because all their money is invested in hedge funds. All these new documents have been validated. Shauna Cox, uh, uh, John Lamb has come out and validated these documents. These documents have not been altered. I beg everybody to go ahead and go ADW, we, Adam Wyden uh, Capital Partners, L, uh, LP. This is a hedge fund and, and son of Ron Wyden. So we have to understand that Rob Meyer is a big participant in this and why he's so adamant. And I'll show you on the bills that he participated in. So he has his hedge funds in this. This is big. We have here a letter. It's called a suit over stall land trade to move forward. Federal District Court rejects Forest Service's attempt to dismiss suit that seeks to enforce the requirement of 2008 uh, Mount Hood Wilderness uh, Bill. And guess whose names are on these bills? You're going to see Anna, uh, Anna J. Brown, another, another uh, document right there with respect to land grabbing. And you're going to have here Ron Wyden, Jeff Merkley, and Earl uh, Blumenauer. And guess what these jokers participated? They, they, they participated in what's called the Crest, uh, Crest Pacific. And what is a, the Crest Pacific? is basically how they went ahead and they went ahead and they started doing this document to land grab. And I bring it. Probably not. I figured out. 